Sonic, the heart of your system. Hello, Brandy here from Kit Guru, and in this video, I'm taking a look at the Noble Chairs Black Edition. So, the Black Edition is an update to the existing Noble Chairs lineup. There is currently the Hero and the Icon and the Epic, and they're all going to be available with the new fabric and new features. I have already reviewed all three of those chairs in their original form, so make sure to go check out that review unless you've not seen them already. So, those three chairs they all have a slightly different design and slightly different features to suit a a range of different people and a range of different tastes. In this review I'm taking a look at the Epic Black Edition. So the Epic is probably the one that looks the most like your typical gaming chair. It has this racing style design and with the Black Edition it's probably the one they've also made the most updates to. I currently use an original form of the Epic in the Black and White Edition as my daily driver. The Epic normally retails for around £300. With the Black Edition, there is a £75 bump in the price tag. This situates it somewhere between the PU leather version and the real leather version variants that are already available. To start off the review, let's jump back in time and I'll take you over how I found the assembly of this chair. The chair came packaged well in a huge box. I noticed there seems to be more foam than other chairs I've tested to help it survive the stresses of shipping. The box was laid out well with everything easy to get to. The assembly instructions were clear and easy to read with plenty of diagrams in a glossy booklet. The chair comes with the tool you need for assembly which is of good quality, plus it comes with the various screws that you need and I like that they come in easy access packaging with nothing to cut or rip open. The first step was to install the tilt mechanism using four screws. The screws are laid out with the washers attached which saves searching around in a bag for them. The armrests do come pre-attached but I did notice they are removable if you're not a fan. The wheels took me a bit of force to push onto the metal base but it didn't take much time at all. I then placed the hydraulic system into the wheel base and slipped the sleeve over the top. Next it was time to place the bottom of the seat into the hydraulics. The backrest comes with the screws pre-attached so unscrewing them is a slightly annoying extra step but it does mean they definitely fit from the factory. These screws also seem to be longer updated screws which I imagine will probably help with the stability. Lining up the backrest of the seat is always an awkward step and I would have found this easy with someone helping me but I did want to make sure the chair could be built with one person. After fiddling around, I found the easiest way to do it was to pull the recline mechanism so it pinged forwards. I then carefully grabbed it and pulled it back to the 90 degree upright position. This allowed me to get the four screws into place more easily. Once the backrest was installed, I made sure that all the screws were done up nice and tight and moved on to attaching the side covers. They slip over the top and attach using a single screw for each. The final step was to slip on the pillow and then attach the lumbar support using the included elastic straps. Overall, it took me about 20 to 30 minutes to build the chair. That included unpackaging it and reading the instructions. I found it to be frustration free and I thought it was pretty quick and easy to build.
The most important thing about a chair definitely has to be comfort, so that's what I'll start off my review with, and it does feel pretty great to sit in. There's not too much difference from what I can tell over the previous version, my original Epic chair that I use every day, however Noble chairs have definitely made improvements to the pillows and the armrests. I found that this chair has plenty of space to get comfortable. I do definitely like the molded shape and I think Noble chairs have got it just about right. It's not too aggressive, which means that the seating area isn't too narrow or restrictive and you've got plenty of space to move around. I won't list all the different dimensions and things of this chair in the video, so make sure to head over to the KitGuru website there where there will be a written review with the full amount of specifications. On the inside of the chair, Noble Chairs use a dense molded foam in all of their chairs. This is meant to help support the shape of the chair over its entire lifespan. If you want to see what I mean by that, make sure to check out my Noble Chairs disassembly video. I took apart a Noble Chair and compared it to a cheaper chair and you can really see the difference and also see the different foams and things they use inside the chair. The foam that they use, however, does actually make the base of the chair quite firm at first, and it is a little too firm at first, so you can find it slightly uncomfortable. However, it does mean that the foam is more long-lasting. It means that the shape of the chair is going to maintain over time. It's not going to be like the cheaper foams that kind of squish down and you're left sitting on the metal base. One thing I did find is also after owning an Epic chair for nearly two years as well, it does loosen up a lot over time. You kind of get that nice molded shape to the base and it is definitely a little bit more comfortable but it's something to be aware of is when you first get the chair you might find it a little bit on the hard side. The overall shape of the chair is obviously that of a racing seat, so it's probably not the most ergonomic chair on the market, but personally for me I haven't had any back problems while using the chair. This one I've only had for a reasonably short period of time, but my other Epic chair I use that every day, I spend a lot of hours at my desk and I've had no problems at all. I also find it very easy to get comfortable, you find that often if you're uncomfortable you move around a lot, you're shuffling around a lot, but with this particular design of chair I've had no problems and I find myself feeling quite supported throughout the day. The black edition of the Epic chair comes with two pillows. These are quite a welcome addition. You get a neck pillow and also a lumbar pillow. They're both finished in a really nice soft velvety material and the padding inside is squishy but also supportive as well. They're both finished in this really deep black design which I think obviously matches the black edition chair but they also have the nice sort of contrasting grey stitching as well. The neck pillow is the same as the previous chair, it's easy to take on and off and I do really quite like using it. The lumbar cushion seems to be a bit of an improvement over the previous version. It feels like it's made of a softer, more forgiving memory foam so it actually feels like it gives me quite a lot of support. I don't really use the lumbar cushion that came with my original Noble chair because I do find it a little bit uncomfortable. This one however I did actually enjoy using it. The elastic straps are also now removable so you can just use the lumbar cushion without it being attached to the chair and they've also updated the elastic as well so it seems to be a sort of more discreet attachment which means it sort of adds to the overall more sleek design of the black edition. The best thing about this chair when it comes to comfort is just how adjustable it is. It can be moved and changed in a variety of different ways so it's going to suit a wider range of people and also a number of different desk setups as well. With this chair it does have the new upgraded armrest. These are the armrests that I first saw on the Hero and they seem to be of a higher quality, they're really nice to use and they also feel more robust and sturdy as well. They're 4D adjustable so you can move them up and down, you can move them inwards and outwards, you can move them backwards and forwards and also angle them in and out as well. They lock into place with various buttons and levers which stops them moving around while you're using them. They also seem to glide very smoothly as well so they're nice and easy to adjust. I think they are definitely a noticeable and worthwhile improvement over the previous versions. The armrests themselves also look like they are made out of a plastic material but the top here is actually more of kind of a squishy rubber which makes them nice and comfortable to lean your arm on. They also seem to be a decent width and size as well which in general makes them very pleasant to use. 
You can adjust the recliner of the chair really quite far back and then if you unlock the rocking tilt mechanism you can tilt it back that little bit further as well so you're pretty much lying down which I found to be really comfortable to just kind of chill out or play games with the controller. The handbrake style lever on this chair is also now made of a nice kind of titanium metal material as well so not only does it look a little bit better it feels more premium to use. The gas lift allows the height of the chair to be adjusted by around 10 centimeters. I'm five foot seven and I found this chair most comfortable on its lowest setting where my feet just about touch the floor. There's gonna be plenty of height there for those of you that are taller users. However, if you are shorter than me, you might find this chair a little bit too high up. Not only is this chair comfortable, I also think it's attractive to look at as well. The Black Edition has this really sleek updated style and I think it's a really nice blend between an adult office chair and your slightly sporty racing style design. Noble chairs have always gone for a more mature design with their chairs and I definitely think it pays off. This chair is not going to look out of place in a professional workplace and also being mostly black as well, I think it's going to suit most at home kind of PC desk setup. The thing to me about the black edition version of the chair that makes it that bit different from the original epic version is the lack of the diamond stitching in the backrest. For me personally I do miss this a little bit because I really like how it looks on my black and white edition of the epic. However I think for the black edition they're going for a more sleek understated design and therefore that design choice definitely makes sense. The main new standout feature of the Black Edition chair is the new hybrid fabric that's going to be using. It's a fabric that's never been used on a gaming chair before and it feels super super soft. The first thing I noticed is that it feels just like a really high quality real leather, something like Nappa leather. It's obviously meant to be like a faux leather and it's sort of like the leather you would find on expensive shoes or a really fancy designer handbag. The benefit of this new material as well is that it's meant to have better ventilation and air circulation as well. So if you're familiar about getting into a hot car in the summer months, you sit in those leather seats and you get that horrible kind of sweaty, sticky feeling, this new fabric is meant to prevent that. Unfortunately, I haven't been able to test it because it is winter here and it's only about 10 degrees in my office. So I'm more sort of wrapping up in layers and coats and things uh, rather than actually finding myself getting too hot. However, that is quite a nice feature of this chair. It also has environmental benefits as well. So it's a vegan material and it also is less harmful to manufacture than other materials such as PVC. It's all stitched together using a matching black thread. And for me, I think this is probably my favorite material I've seen used on a gaming chair. Real leather is of course very sort of luxurious to have. However, it can get really expensive. And I think this is a really good alternative. The black edition of the Epic now has these metal eyelets. So the metal eyelets, I first saw them on the Mercedes chair and I think they are definitely very, very smart looking. I think they are definitely a more premium design and they are a great improvement over the plastic ones on the more original Epic. All the metal areas on this chair are coated in a kind of titanium finish. I do definitely like that because I think it matches the black coloration of the chair much better. You can find the armrest button in titanium. The actual armrest supports themselves are coated in a titanium finish and also the handbrake style lever as well. This once again, I think adds to the overall premium look of the black edition chair. When it comes to the branding on this chair, you can tell that it is definitely present. You can see Noble chairs embroidered into the two different cushions. It's also embroidered on the seating area as well. However, I do think it is definitely nicely done. It's either in black or gray, so you don't really notice it too much. It's not really in your face. And I think it blends into the overall design without kind of taking away from it. When it comes to a chair, obviously comfort is king. Comfort is what matters the most. But Noble chairs have also put quite a lot of thought into the design with the Black Edition. I think they've really made some worthwhile upgrades, which means that it is a nice chair to look at and feel and use as well. The Noble Chairs Black Edition does only come in the one color, which is black by the way. However, I do really like this fabric. I do really like the upgrades that they've made and I quite like to see it in a few different variations, maybe with some different colored stitching or some different color pillows. 
To finish off the review, I'm going to go over the overall build quality of this chair, and this also seems to be an area where Noble Chair excel. This chair does feel very premium, it feels very stable, you can tell that it's very well constructed, and that's just kind of the overall build quality and the overall finish of the chair. When it comes to the specific points, I really do like the new fabric, it's made to be hard wearing, it's made to be safe, and it's also made to be easy to clean as well. All the stitching is really well done, it's very neatly finished, and it feels like it's going to hold together well. Underneath the fabric you will find a steel frame with this chair, it's something you can check out in my disassembly video, and this means that the chair overall is quite hefty, you can feel this if you try and pick it up, it does have quite a lot of weight to it, however this does mean that it is a nice strong sturdy shape and it should hold up to all the kind of stresses and strains you're going to throw at it. The wheelbase is another thing that's been updated on this chair and it does have a more attractive design. It looks a little bit more aggressive and it's also made of a nice strong thick metal as well. The wheelbase is a good size so I found that if you lean all the way back it doesn't feel like the chair is going to tip over or anything. And also the wheels that go into the wheelbase, even though they're made of plastic, they feel nice and strong and stable and I think they're definitely built to last and I also find they glide nice and easily as well. So overall, what do I think of the Noble Chairs Black Edition? It's not very often that I say this, but I do actually think this chair is pretty much perfect. I must admit, when I get a product for review, I do try and pick holes in it. I try to find features and things I think could be improved. But with this chair, it's very easy to assemble, it's comfortable to sit in, and it's also attractive to look at as well. The only real downside is there is a £75 price increase over the original Epic. However, this chair does use the new fabric, which feels just like real leather and also it does have a few worthwhile upgrades for other features and things as well that I think it is definitely a case of you get what you pay for. So overall I think if you are looking for a high quality desk chair then the Noble Chairs Black Edition is definitely going to be a good option. If you like this video please make sure to give it a thumbs up. We also like you to leave a comment as well so let me know what you thought of this video and if you would like to see more content from KitGuru please make sure to hit the subscribe button.